Hello. Monday. Uh, since it's the beginning of the week, I have no ideas, thoughts, or trends, or any other word that sounds like that. I'm uh, going with diverse world. And probably regretting it off the bat, as this is probably lured out Russia. Now I gotta try to find an angle that gives me the name. Tricata. Okay, so maybe this isn't Russia. I don't know where it is yet, but let's get the usual stuff out of the way. Uh, start with the house cleaning. Hmm. Does Poland? Or at least Eastern Europe? Well, I, it's Eastern, I just don't know where in Eastern Europe yet, but, um, as always, thanks for the viewing, comments, suggestions, tips with Pharaoh and Falkland, it was appreciated. Again, I have issues, if I'm going to remember, I'm going to try to, but other than trying to, I can't really do much other than that. I mean, if I just remember it, then I don't need to try to remember, because then I'll just remember. But... <clears throat> Is this like a stock thing? This is going down one, or the rat of ones, so they just do something similar to it. Um, I have to find what way would potentially get me to a town. We just passed a road sign that may help me. Oh, of course, we're gonna blur it out because yeah, Tricata. Man, I don't know what that is. I mean, I feel like it's Poland, but uh, whoa. I don't know. I'm going to go back into town. Maybe there's something here I'm missing. But, let's see, I did my hike. That was, uh, I guess a little tip if you're getting into hiking and maybe you don't think as little as I do about pre-planning with stuff when you're just like, oh fuck, I can't think of, find a thing, so I'll just pick a mountain and I'll Google for Google Maps the uh, how to get to the trail. Um, maybe do a little bit more than that because, it, I mean, this doesn't happen every time, but the, the first time it happened was uh, today where, why are you blurring everything out? CK, uh, CKI makes me feel that this is Poland. If not, it's close to it. <clears throat> that... I guess Google Maps decided to take me to the road closest to to the road that can be as close as possible to where the trail is, not exactly where the trailhead is. So there was a bit of an issue trying to find hmm Tricata eight hundred. Is this supposed to be the flag? And there's no flag on it. Hmm. Uh, this is a school bus. I think, but all the, or is it a post office? No, nope. school bus. <clears throat> so I got to it, and the mountain I was trying to hike, I actually did not see any signage for it, so I was like, hmm, okay. So I decided to ask some other people who were uh, hiking there too, because it was a, like an insanely gorgeous day. It was like, um, not every, man, see, this makes me feel like it's not, are we like Slovakia? Maybe? Takata? Is it like a little tiny? Oh, of course. It's not one, it's the other. Whatever. I'm not expecting. I mean, I'm always trying to do good, but, you know, I'm not always expecting it to turn out that way, especially with some of these places. But I got there, and I asked them, hey, I'm trying to do this mountain. And uh, they're like, yeah, the only I don't know how to get there from here. The only way I know is this place way nowhere near where I am. So I was like, oh, shit. And then they just happened to suggest, like, hey, have you done this mountain here? I'm like, no. I was like, well, there you go. I was like, um, sure. It was also the first time I've never seen any mileage marking on the trailhead when you first go in. Because I was kind of expecting it to be about a five-mile loop, because that's what the trail was. 
but since I had no idea how long this one would take, I was just going into it being like, fine, whatever, it can't be that much longer and or different. So I go in, I see a sign, okay, it's a mile to this trail, so I went to it thinking that was the entire mountain, and I just keep walking, and I keep looking in the distance, and I'm like, that's where the, um, I don't know what this is supposed to be, like down here, maybe, oh no, maybe we're Burma, but, uh, maybe we're Indonesia, or something, I don't know, I'm hoping to find, it seems a little too dry to be there, because you got you know, the equator right there. Maybe we're like up here. That's my dumb logic. All right, we're going to go Thailand. But I just keep walking and walking and walking and the trail keeps going. But every time, okay, this doesn't help me either to go. Like it's, it's using lettering that I'm not expecting. Like almost this is, the, I almost feel like maybe this is the Philippines. Okay, so there is some, I think it's Sanskrit, isn't it? So that would make me feel like it's one of these down here, maybe. Hmm. But anyway, um, well, not long story short, but just story done. I did get to the top of it. it took a little longer than the mileage said. It was like seven tenths of a mile to get to the top, and it did not feel that way. And maybe it's just because I got a bad sense of, like, distance judging or whatnot, but it went by faster than I thought. This is a field of hard clay lumps? I don't know. But I also, one of the things you do hiking is you're going to, is this where a quest giver get, lives? <laughs> um is when people coming up the mountain, they're usually like, hey, how's, how's, it, how's the hike? How's the trail? How close are we to the top? And I try. Like, I usually give the, the qualifying statement, like, yeah, I'm usually bad with these uh, judgment things. So, yeah, here's the, here's the flag. So let's see if I can't get a bit more to see if that crescent pops up. Oh, we're, we're not. Yeah, it's definitely not Malaysia. Malaysia is almost like the American flag with... Uh, well then, are we like such a big goddamn country that maybe here? No. Maybe some one of these things will say a thing. Something bad's happening here. But one of the guys asked me how how it was like the uh, trail, how close they were, and I was like, oh, maybe you got like a mile left. That was close. I was just like trying to get to the center of the country because nothing uh, stuck out to me. So this is an enterprise of torture. Frognet Andre. Andre. So it's an internet torture by Frognet. Well, B-E. Almost as much as I want to say as Belarus. This is Belgium. Which is a tiny enough place that it could be any of these. But I'm picking just the city and trying to work from there. But um, I even told him that I didn't feel like he, him and his wife, I'm thinking, or just woman he was hiking with. I told him, I was like, I got about a mile left, but you're going to see a sign not far up ahead that said 0.7, but it feels like it's shorter than that. And then they're all like, oh, well, I'm super excited, energetic, because it was kind of a tough hike, honestly. Um, it went everywhere from trail being like just a bunch of boulders you gotta walk over to just mud put mud holes and sections of the trail where it looked like it was the first time anybody had walked over it ever so there's just you know the mud holes everywhere and then there was the other one where all this dirt gave way and it was just roots and all the I guess bark on the roots got worn away because people walked on it so much it just kind of ran the gamut but they were, you know, a bit, they were looking a little bit tired from the uh, hike. And she was like, oh, I'm rejuvenated. We're so close now. 
and I almost feel like maybe I misled them and what I thought would take less time, maybe it would take longer for them. But I don't know. Good hike. I'm still a little sore. Not many bug bites. Because you go early in the morning, you, you go before the bugs. That's the best time to go. Less traffic. It's cooler. Never seen Primus has their own beer, huh? Even though it's Latin for first, but... Maybe I'll look and... See if I can find it. Because I feel like I need to try it now. I've got some donor kebabs. Frites, sandwiches, and sandwich glasses. Hmm. This is like a little tiny town. Even though, you know, Belgium's not that... Rural, I guess. I mean, I really don't know. I'm sure, like, down here, maybe. No, that's where the cheese is from, huh? Okay. Uh, what else is happening? Oh, it's... I guess E3 is happening. Either right now or in the midst of... Yeah, when you're watching this, E3 is in the midst of happening. The Electronic Entertainment Expo. When they put out all the... We got the Tourism House... So it's a big enough place to have a tourism. Maybe it would be Antwerp. I'm going to put there instead. Yeah, I've really not paid attention much this year. I mean, not much has come out yet either, but... Oh, we got road signs. This will help. Can I get... Here we go. All right. N83. We're looking at this stuff. Try to find 83 or 88 and go from there. But the only thing I've really paid attention to, I mean, there was that Death Stranding 8-whatever-minute trailer that came out that uh, I watched. And it just basically was anything else that Hideo Kojima does. I've really played any of his games since... Any of them since, oh, we were way down here. Um, I think the second Metal Gear on uh, PS2 just wasn't my thing. I instantly feel like this is New Zealand. Can I get off the goddamn screen? I hate every time. I hate when they do that, and I hate <clears throat> that I say every time that I hate that they do that. But this thing's been hyped up just because it's been known about for a while, and each year, a little bit more gets told, but now we actually have some semblance of gameplay with it. Okay, this is uh, Ireland. And I'm not sold on it. I mean, I don't think I'm actually really going to play it, but also, I don't... Nothing, like, actual gameplay-wise does not in, seem interesting at all to me. Like, the little parts that actually looked like it was game, there was uh, the shooting in it didn't seem all that good. It just seemed generic, normal, run-of-the-mill stuff. And uh, watching him run around trying to dodge like little baton guys, that didn't look fun. It didn't look all that... It looked kind of stiff. Maybe if I go back and watch it again, I probably would have a different opinion, but... Wasn't doing it for me. All right, so 700s are down here. What if I could, like, move farther north? Is there any logic to their roads in this country? Maybe. Okay, I'm on the coast. I feel like I'm close. Like I'm getting closer. Okay, here's a 200. I finally found one. All right, now we're like in the 200 region. All right. Now I just needed to find 252. Well, this is, yeah, Northern Ireland's over here. Is there, how's their roading? Do they have, okay, they don't. They actually go with like British roads, I guess. I don't know. We just jumped to the 280s here. Come on. Where are we? 300s. All right, so we're down here, I think. I don't know. I don't know what else is going to be coming out. Um, whether or not I'll play it. 
I keep telling myself to play other things, but then I just get stuck playing Dota, and I kind of feel bad about it, and then I also kind of don't too, but I don't know. It's just the rut I'm getting stuck in, at least with playing different games. Like, I have all these. Why can't... I cannot find this stupid road anywhere. And I feel like I'm fighting off a sneeze. Bally Bullfay. Maybe I should just look for that. Um, Let's try just going down the road a bit and see if we can't find... <clears throat> excuse me. Any more information. Although that seemed like the perfect information. We just were not going to get any farther with it. Is this a bridge sign? Potentially could be. I'm going to clear my throat because... Oh, my throat was driving me nuts there. The Cumberk River, huh? Like, this isn't Wales. This is Ireland. It's just, I'm not... I did... did I, okay, I did make a guess. I did not find the 250 thing, and that's... That's annoying. All right, I'm just going to make my guess because I'm not going to waste more time. Oh, we were uh, the whole other section of the country I didn't even think to look in. It's because I'm tired. There's things I'm not thinking of. All right, this feels like southeast uh, U.S. just because all the Spanish moss on the trees, which I believe is all that hangy bits. See if I can't tell. Prince Hilton Head, that's uh, South Carolina, I believe. There's Hilton Head. I believe, I think I found where we are. I'm going to try to find some roadage signage to tell me otherwise. Let's see. Um, hmm. I don't know if anything here is going to tell me. Oh, I to, for some reason I thought it said three generations of guilt. <laughs> oh, my brain's dumb. All right, so this didn't tell me anything. Festival Center at Indigo Park. Hmm. What do we have for a cookout here? 101 Central Ave. Well, we have the... Uh, Oh, well, that's Savannah. I feel like I'm in the area here, but I don't know if this is going to tell me anything I need. Well, here's the Walmart. Is that the Indigo? Yep, okay. All right, so I think I found it. I'm going to hit home here, and we are next to what? Son of us. That is the entrance to one of them. I feel like we're on a turn. Um, how far back is Barnes & Noble? Okay, Barnes & Noble is there behind us. So we're like right here. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this one. Anyway, let's take the rest of the time to uh, go look in the giant mall. Let's Let's, let's see. Uh, oh, that's good. Nice and boarded up. Maybe there was a hurricane that came through here. Or it was a restaurant that went out of business. Or both. We got our Barnes & Noble. You can barely see the sign. This was bad planning and design. Somebody did. Uh, let's see. Walgreens. Nothing fancy there. It's just a... Uh, 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 pharmacy chain. I feel like I'm a, uh, being a tourist for people who've never seen things in America. I mean, I've never been, to, I have been to South Carolina. I've been to, uh, Turtle Beach. Where is Myrtle Beach? All the way up here. I've been to Myrtle Beach. See if, like, I recognize anything. Captain Hook's Adventure Golf. I think I went there. It's been so long. Ooh. I didn't want to go here, but we're here. What do we got? 
nothing good. Yeah, this is just a suburban development technology park type thing where just a bunch of businesses have all their stuff. McGriff. Is that like uh, McGruff the Crime Dog? You should look him up if you've never heard of McGruff the Crime Dog. It was a TV commercial staple of me as a kid. Okay. You see where they, they say I, I've got some umbrage with that, but that put us right over the top, thankfully. Uh, we made it to a Monday. Um, my voice probably sounds like most of you feel, just not there yet. But well, I'll do it. And I'll see you again on uh, Wednesday for some more guessing geography locations on a point-based scale. Have a good day. Goodbye.